So my name is Melissa Kinzerski and I got involved in transit back when I was a student in university at the University of the Fraser Valley. Um, in the fall of 2008, our student group was approached by BC Transit along with our student union. Uh, this, the group was called Students for Sustainability and uh, we were approached by them to run the UPASS campaign. And not really knowing what we were getting ourselves into, we decided to commit and um, it provided an opportunity and an experience that's kind of revolutionized not only my experience with the transit system, but also my appreciation for transit in general and how it serves our communities, um, spe more specifically students. A U-Pass is short for uni Universal Transit Pass. So what that means is that a group of students um, out of, based out of a student union, just like a, a trade union, uh, all pay money uh, into uh, a pool, I guess, a, a certain rate, and that money then goes to uh, the transit planners or the community, or BC Transit in this case, and in turn they give every single student uh, a part that are, that's part of that union a transit pass. It's much more affordable. You, uh, you don't have to pay for parking. You don't have to look for parking. Um, I mean, I think that transit, I mean, to be candid about the issue, transit definitely influences different people in different ways based on where you live. So being proactive too, if you're a student and want to attend university in an affordable manner, one thing I would suggest is looking at how proximal your housing is to the university and um, the amount of transit that's required to take it between A and B, because you can be quite mobile as a student and, and make transit work for you, but you just gotta think ahead. How you get a U-Pass is simple, you just register for university. And uh, it's distributed through the student union, so uh, at the University of the Fraser Valley, you would go, there will be designated days that you would go and pick up your U-Pass from the student union office. Um, one of the things that the campaign did was it brought a lot of students together on campus. Um, I mean, myself personally, I learned how to campaign. I learned how to outreach and how to network, um, which proved really valuable to the success of the campaign. Um, essentially what we did, and this was the beauty of social media at the time, it's not as accessible anymore because it's um, aged a bit, but I found every single UFE student group that I could potentially connect with and I arranged an opportunity to talk to them about the UPASS and we just garnered so much support that we had just an incredible amount of, um, of so yeah, an incredible amount of support for the UPASS program. And I think the thing that made me feel the most excited about the UPASS was that um, out of all of the student elections that have ever been held at UFE that year, we had the most voter turnout ever for that referendum. But I think one of the unique things that transit does is it brings people from all demographics together. Um, one of the stories that I want to share about my experience, community experience on transit is I would ride the bus um, every day to school in the morning, number three, and um, this is a, a route through a suburban area so there's not as many riders on there and a lot of those riders are actually people with uh, special needs or disabilities. And um, you crack conversations with these people and um, you find out more about their life and what they're doing. And one of the girls was talking about how um, they were looking for jobs. These, uh, they're part of a group that meets regularly and, um, and is supported by a community organization and they were looking for jobs to raise money. And at the time I was working at the university as their sustainability coordinator assistant and um, we had a recycling problem at our school. Uh, we had tons of recyclables and we just couldn't figure out a way to manage them and to figure out how they could be picked up. So following that conversation, my boss had approached me that early, later that morning and had asked me about, you know, what are we going to do about this recycling? It's not, the, the current uh, approach isn't working. And uh, right away I had the answer. And it was all because of that conversation that I had with that individual on the bus and it would have never happened had I had driven my car to school that day. One thing that the UPASS did um, in fall 2008, you would take the bus and you know you'd sit next to your friends. Um, in fall 2000 and 2009 you'd take the bus and you'd have to stand next to your friends. So just the amount of ridership uh, that the UPASS brought to the bus 
brought to the bus because of having the convenience of a transit pass and quite potentially the marketing that went around transit through the campaign really helped increase ridership and create a community on the bus.